Hello everyone, I'm Brandon of Game Changers, and today I'll be teaching you how to create a COVID-destroying game in which you control a gingerbread man that stops viruses from going into a village, in which this village only has one house, but you can always change that with your own game. And in this game, you need to know how to do broadcasting, basic coding, variables, loops, and you have to know what X and Y are in a game. And to learn these, you should go check out our other videos like Bullfighting or Space Battle. Alrighty, so first, you need to start a new project, and you gotta get rid of all this. And rename the actor to player. Then we need to add a costume. Like that, and then stage. Like so, here you go. And then we have to go to our stage, go to stage settings down at the bottom left. I'm going to change it to 1,500 by 2,000. So you got a little bit of height for things to fall. And then I'm going to move the gingerbread down here. Gingerbread man. There we go. Go back to the code. And then we start with the stage. So on start, we are going to set the gravity to zero. So we don't have uh, physics or pen here. So plus add those. Go down to physics. We need to set the gravity to zero. Bam. And we also need three variables. Let's create them right now. So we need to create a health, a time, and power. So health, it's health. Time is the long time you've been alive. And then power is the amount of times you can use the superpower, which clears the entire board. So right here, we should set all three. We set health time and power time should say zero you can set health to how many lives you want the player to have i'll set it to five and how many times they can use the superpower which i'll set to two and then uh, i'll add a repeat while or yeah a repeat while loop repeat while lives are greater than zero all right so we got to go to operators or not lives health Health is greater to zero. So we're gonna write down the text up in the top right corner and how many lives you have. So we're going to go to control. We're gonna update it every second. So every second it updates the uh, amount of time. So we have to, to um, add the update part. So in here, change time by one. So every second it's gonna go up by one. We're going to pen and we have to write down the stuff onto the area. So here, just set the font as well, because it, the font is not the same throughout each of these things. So if you set it, then you can make it so they're all the same, which is pleasing to the eyes. Looks nice. Okay, um, we have to clear a rectangle. So I'm gonna print this. Oops, actually we need to go back into operators and we need to grab this this one specifically not that one this one and then we need to go into variables and then add uh time and then go time colon space so it's gonna print this at zero zero we want it up here for me at least i don't i like it up there so an x of 500 and a y of 900 and then we're gonna clear the rectangle for 90 e with a 400 and 100. So basically, it's gonna clear from this point, which is 490, right about here, and then 1000. So it's gonna clear from like here, and then out 400, and then down 100. Because the width, 400, height 100, it's gonna clear this box. And then it's gonna read, um, draw the new time text every single second, because the weight little thing right here. And then we're gonna draw the other two at the beginning too. So we're gonna, bam. Bam, we're just gonna copy paste it because it's easy. Change this to health, colon, and then power, colon. Let me get rid of these. Put those in so it's the same. And we have to change where they're printed. So let's change that to zero. Let's change this to 750. These will update at different times. So we will have this, um, we'll up put the little clear rectangle thing later. So now we need to add the actual enemy in the game. So get rid of all that, add a costume. So I'm gonna add virus. I'm gonna make it yellow this time, because yellow is cool. Should make it a little smaller, because it's quite large. 
and go to events, and we need to add an on start event. And then we need to go looks, hide it. Because this isn't isn't the actual enemy that's gonna fall from the sky. We're gonna make clones that fall. And then we need to stop the physics of this one specifically. Oops. Actually, we should rename this to enemy. There we go. Perfect. Down here. Or up here actually. It's at the top. We have to Where's stop physics? There it is. What the was well, not there. Okay. Okay, stop physics, set active, like that. And then we need to add a forever loop. So forever, and also a wait. So every, this is how long it takes for them to spawn each time. And then an if, so if then then, down here. So this, we're gonna make a little thing right here that makes it so it only copies off of this and not the other clones that are in the scene. Or else, if there were two of them, so like this plus a clone, then it'll print, it'll create two more. So we only want to create one every three seconds, not two every three seconds and four every three seconds. Actually, don't type in that. We need to add something else. So in control is clone. So it's going to check if it's a clone. If it's not a clone, then it will create a copy of, so just this. And then create a clone of the enemy. So we got this part done. Now we need to make it so the clone actually does something. So clone startup. We need to start the physics. Like so let me start the physics. Set this to true. And then we need to make it so it spawns up here and then anywhere from here to here. So we can add a go to. And then we go to the operators and we find the pick random, which will make this negative 750 to 750 for the X. And then for the Y, we're gonna change it to um, 950. So it's gonna spawn like up here, from here to here. And there's X here to here, Y up here. Good stuff. Okay, then we have to make sure we show it or else it's just gonna be invisible when falling and that's not really fair, is it? So, scroll down to the bottom. Oh, that's hide, and you show it. Showed. And then next, we have to make it so it actually moves. So forever loop. And then we have to add a change y by negative one. So it moves down one per whatever, one per second or so. One per frame, actually. That's the actual real term. Then we have to check whether it's touching the ground or the gingerbread man, because they're going to do different things if it, whether it touches the gingerbread man or the ground. So add those two in. We need to go to sensing, check if it's touching. Either one, so we need to check if it's touching the player. Oops, player. And then we need to check if it's touching the um, bottom edge, so the ground. And then when it touches those, we need to destroy it. But nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna get destroyed when it touches the player. Oops. But when it touches the ground, you should lose one health because the, it got to the town or the quote unquote town. We don't have a town right now but you can always add on the town. I'm probably not gonna add it on right now for the sake of time, but you can do it on your own time. So you're going to, we need to change health by negative one. So every time we touch the bottom edge, health goes down by negative one. And here is where we'll update where uh, what happens or update the text at the top. So when you play it, the text, these don't change, but now we change it. So let's just go to the stage. We're gonna copy this, copy. We're gonna paste it in here. So right here, slap that. And then we're gonna change this. So in this, we're gonna set, um, it's gonna clear the rectangle since um, the health should go down, not time. So let's change this. That. Then we should make it so health is printed. We're gonna put health like right like here. Or actually, yeah, we're gonna put it over here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make health in the top left corner. So let's change this. Let's go for the zero. So we're gonna print health at negative seven fifty instead. Nine hundred. And negative 760. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So it's going to clear this score over here. Oops. So like that. So actually, we need to clear everything every time. Bam. So it's clean. There we go. So now that we finished the enemy, we can just copy this. Or we don't have to copy it. We can just click this, duplicate it four times because we need this pretty much the same code because the power-ups are going to do the same thing as the enemies. They're just going to fall from the sky. And this one, the superpower is going to do the opposite, but it's basically the same code. So let's change this name to name of the power. Oops, this one. Heart. This one. Super power. Like so. And then here, we can change costume. So like that. Okay, so for the power, we're gonna change the amount of time that it takes to spawn to like 10, or else you're just gonna get infinite powers and it's gonna be kinda not too easy. It's gonna be too easy. And change it to, to create a clone of the power. We should, should make this part smaller. And this a lot larger. Cause this is gonna be the indication that the whole screen is being cleared. So right there. And it's gonna show that the whole screen is gonna get cleared. And then, Yada yada, that's all good, that's all good. So we need to change this part. So basically, the easy fix of this is that it's gonna do the same thing, except I don't want anything to happen when it touches the bottom, because if the power gets reaches the bottom, that just sucks for you, because you're not gonna be able to get an extra power. So we're gonna do this instead. So every time you um, actually get the power, power is gonna go up by one. And to change the power, we need to, we need to clear this section. Just clear negative 10 instead, and then we go print out zero. So it's going to clear this rectangle. Oh, oops, we're in superpower. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, delete that, use that, paste, pass it in there. Okay, so that's the correct code. We just need to get rid of this, that, variables. Power. Type that. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So now every time you collect the power, this should reset. So then we have to do it for heart. But this one is going to clear the same space, so we can just copy this. Paste over here. Actually, it's already pasted here, so we don't have to do that. So the only difference is that it's going to change the health by one, and we have to create a clone of the heart. You also can change the how often the health comes down, change it to 15. And then finally this. This time we have to make it go upward, so we have to change it to so it goes up. And then we don't have to have it pick random because it's just, just going to show that you cleared the screen or used the superpower. So we don't need this actually. So we'll just get rid of this, get rid of, oops, of this. One space arrow is pressed. Or, yeah, what space is pressed, not space arrow. Go space, create a clone of superpower that moves up and is destroyed. Oops. No. Destroy when it touches the top edge instead of the bottom edge, it's gonna be rising. And then you have to change the power by negative one, and it's gonna clear the same rectangle right here. Except this has to be um, health or power instead. So power, power. So and that should all work. There you have it. So thing spawned. And I just realized I forgot the most important part of the game: the actual player. Nice. So let me do that very quickly. So with that, your player should be good. And the reason why I have this right here is so the enemy can actually touch the player because if uh, the player has physics, then the sometimes the enemy and the player don't collide and they don't um, the enemy doesn't get deleted. So it's a little messy for that. So with that, everything should be pretty a-okay. Except, for the time up here. 
in which we didn't clear the right rectangle. And a quick little pro tip, but um, you should change these to be slightly larger numbers so it clears the right area. So like that, our game is pretty much done. All we have to do is add a little bit of nice little jazz on it because it's a little, a little boring. It doesn't even say game over. So to add that, when the health is equal to zero, the board will be cleared and it will list game over because you have lost and that is unfortunate. So game over, bam, pen, like that. And also with this, we also just want to copy this, go here, paste it. We want to delete the player so we can get rid of this. So we can go into looks and hide it. For now, when you have lives, your character should disappear. And with that, your game is pretty much finished, even with a little bit more jazz. And you can add sounds wherever you want. So then do that on start. Play sound until done. Choose your music. I'll choose a random one. Bam. And then you can change the game however you want. You can change the speed at which the player moves with these. You can change the sound if they make a sound while they move and all that good stuff. And most importantly, never forget to name and save your project. Uh, COVID dis uh, destroyer. There you go. Save it. Because you don't want to lose all of your hard work. So we're going to test it right now. Just gonna always should check if the game works. So as you can see, there's a little bit of an issue with the game right now. So when you use a power up or you lose a health, the text reverts to a very small number. So the fix to that is to set the text for inside of the object. So we're going to take this, copy this, and then we're going to throw it over here in each one. So one for enemy, one for power. One for heart, Let's move it down here, and one for superpower. And if you want to add a little bit more jazz to your um, to your game, you can always make a little bit of cosmetics here. So you can put a little house here if you'd like to make your town actually a town. So house, bam. Toss it in here, make it a little bit smaller. The only thing is that you have to, oh, let's move this a little bit. You have to turn off the physics for this or else the enemies will run into it and it won't be able to touch the ground, making it so you don't lose a health when they get to the bottom. So you have to stop physics and set active to false. So now, the game should work. You can use a power. Health. And they won't run into the house, which is shown right here. Perfect. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna, if you're interested in more coding videos, look forward to our last two Christmas videos.